This is Mirage. Mirage is a writer. Mirage loves golf, but didn't turn pro. A good thing, because he would have probably starved. He loves motorcycling, can strum and sing a bit, and is committed to nothing except a life on the road. This is Johan. Johan is a photographer. Johan is more Indian than I am, but carries a Swedish passport. Johan has lived around the world and bankrolled his travel with some pretty interesting gigs. He's picked apples, been a bartender, worked on an oil rig, before finally discovering the camera. Last year, we teamed up to travel for a year in India and chronicle our experiences. It's been quite a trek, a hell of a ride, a drive like no other, a flight to new horizons, and a voyage that we hope won't end anytime soon. Mirosh and I are in Jodhpur, the second largest township in Rajasthan. The blue city needs no introduction. The erstwhile capital of the kingdom of Marwar, Jodhpur's spectacular fort, outstanding street food and fascinating history continue to draw visitors from across the world. While Mirosh has been busy indulging his love for all things retro, from long lost medals awarded to soldiers in the world wars, to classic automobiles. I've been on a dessert food tour in a city with a sweet tooth like no other. But there are like 20 shops. I know, no, that, I, I know. know. You're <laughs> scaring me right now. Mehrangar Fort in Jodhpur is famous for never being conquered. Well, if you build a mini garrison town on a vertical cliff perched 400 meters above the city and enclose it within walls that soar up to 36 meters and are 21 meters wide in places, then you've pretty much scuppered any ground attack's chances. Some of the rooms that have been completely restored are breathtakingly opulent. A glimpse into the truly extraordinary lives of kings and queens. I'm going to take a bird's eye view from the most commanding position in town. The adventure starts with a lesson on safety procedures. After that, we're off to the first takeoff point on a rampart of the Murangar Fort. I thought the first zipline was quite scary, but the second one is properly terrifying. This one passes above Ranisar Lake and then runs across the Rao Joda Desert Rock Park that lies next to the fort. Now this zipline is 170 meters long and it has quite a drop down to the lake below. Should be pretty exciting. The zipline tour is the perfect way to see the fort and the city that lies below. The circuit of six ziplines zigzag over one kilometer in the air. I think this is by far the most exciting activity you can do in Jodhpur. What sort of self-respecting adventure takes place without a proper soundtrack? The skies have turned dark and there's thunder and lightning as I careen down the final zipline.
This one is the longest of all, 300 meters spanning over two lakes that lie at the periphery of the fort. I didn't expect the uh, rain. This marks the end of the tour. I'm tired and I'm soaked from head to toe. Time to head home and call it a day. I think we're gonna get out of the rain and dry up. On our last day in town, we're trying to ease our conscience by pedaling about in the old city. A bicycle ride. Sounds like a lovely proposition. A rare marriage of a fun and environment-friendly activity. No fuel burnt, no sound pollution. The perfect choice, you'd think, for exploring the historic enclave of an old city. Not really. The historic enclave is a melee of kamikaze motorists and equally suicidal pedestrians. The blue city is pretty, somewhat, if you can look away from the sporadic heaps of trash and duck when putrid odours waft through the centuries-old alleys. And when you're able to rise above the impediments to your appreciation and find nooks and scenes that hark back to, well, older, quieter times, then you've still got to keep an eye out for the self-guided missiles hurtling towards you. Scaring visitors, whether on foot or on bicycles, is a popular sport in Jodhpur's old city. Step wells. Jodhpur has over a hundred of them. These repositories of rainwater that percolates through aqueducts and channels are ubiquitous in the old city. Kailana Lake, a pretty water body that lies a few kilometers uphill from Jodhpur, is the largest body of water in the city and keeps the groundwater level exceptionally high for a city in these parts. While it's a great example of how step wells can be used through public participation to solve water issues in present times, there's this business of people using these as trash sites. It befuddles me to see how people would consciously despoil beautiful historical bodies in their own neighborhood. Oh, this is where the sweet shop is. This guy. Yeah. That Karji. So was the lady. I couldn't get a fresh one yesterday, so now we're back. I can have a fresh jalebi from uh, yeah, the most about. famous jalebi guy in town. Jalebi. Breakfast. So ladies, listen, there's something about Jodhpur. People eat a lot of sweets here. Have you noticed? Yeah. I don't know. They eat them first thing in the morning here. They love it. They love it. Every place we went to, there was a, there, you know there that was is? people over and over. You know what that is? That's called chashni. Chashni. Yeah, it's basically sugar. Sugar syrup. And that is hot. Right. They so fry it in ghee and then they dip it in sugar syrup. Yeah, and this goes <laughs> That's the best of both worlds. Butter and sugar. <laughs> All right. Aren't you excited? Aren't you excited to go try? Go for it, go for it. Go for it, guys. Wow. I don't, I don't. You know, man? Right there. Let me see. Ooh. Wow. So we have reached to a point This is the blue city part. This is the blue city. Oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the blue city. And this was the front side of the fort back then. So, like back. <laughs> so the very first city which was built up was this one.
Okay, sir. The blue city, yeah. So now that's the blue city. Awesome. Can I have a good view from here. View from here yeah. yeah. So this is the end of the tour. Yeah, that's the end of the tour. Well, thank you very much. I mean, it was fun. It was a tad short, and it got, but it yeah. got hot really quickly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sir. I'm glad we sort of finished. We when managed we did. to cover a lot of different uh, landmarks and town, yeah. the ponds, and we got to see the blue city. What are we left? I think it's we have done. We've done everything. <laughs> We've done everything. Done. <laughs> we have it's a small done. city. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, uh, are they trying to paint the entire city blue? You were saying something about that. You know, uh, saying something. Uh, they are trying. They're trying. To paint all the houses blue. So, the government has issued an initiative? No, not, to... not government. It's not government. No. It's the, city. No, it's the, the pe people who For live the people here. themselves. The really? people themselves oh. who are living here. That looks like a really old haveli. Yep, yeah, this one. Huh? So, so, I was telling you, and I don't know, I, it is usually the case in most Indian cities that, especially in Rajasthan, that the king's right on top. Gar sabse upar hai. And then the first level of courtiers and the second, second level. level of so that's how it is. So yes. these people must have been like top notch, like they must have been like Mantri level guys. Mantri level guys. Yeah. And then dhire, 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 dhire. And also the buildings look like they're they yeah. must have been. Yeah, they are wealthy. mantri level guys. They are the priest one, like the, 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 Oh the, the priests are above a, the yeah. mantris. The area was given to the priest first. Ah, okay. Yeah. Then to the further people. Okay. okay. Mm. And the common man is outside. Oh. Outside. Yeah. Okay. But everything was within the walled city. Within the walled city. Right. Including the common. Including the common. Well, thank God for that. Huh? <laughs> but Although, not look close to the Well, they are far from the center of power. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where Yuan and I would have fit into the scheme of the <laughs> I know where we would be. We'd be in the gallows. <laughs> in the dungeons. Locked chained in. to a wall. No, we'd be well, traveling. We'd be traveling. We'd be somewhere in between. <laughs> We'd be like, yeah. We'd be the we'd be the traders coming into town and leaving in a in a jiffy. Shall I shall we get okay. up? No? Yeah. It's, it's, now it's now it's now I now I need breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which which way? Back back down? Yeah, back down. There are a number of theories on how indigo came to be the tint of choice in the blue city. But the answer likely lies in Jodhpur's other moniker, Sun City. It's a place where the sun shines bright, literally, all days of the year. Even the illusion of cool climbs provides relief. The old city is, well, old and largely devoid of spectacular architecture. The one structure that bucks that trend is the curious looking clock tower. For a fee, you can climb up and inspect the old mechanical system of pulleys and weights that continues to keep time for the city. There's an old man here who's entrusted with the task of making sure this antiquated piece of machinery keeps working smoothly. Like his father before him, Muhammad Iqbal spent the fleeting years of his youth in this claustrophobic space at the top of this tower. Now, in his later years, he says he feels each moment pause as the pulleys complete their motion up before plummeting down again. You have to wind it then. Yeah, so you look at these pulleys, they go all the way down, man. Look at that. So, so ye, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? A minute or second. Our minute and second. Only for leaves. So, I mean, I still don't understand how it works. So, it's a chabi. It's a chabi. It's a chabi. A life spent keeping time. I want to write a story on this man's life. We're on our way to Beira village that lies in Pali district, just about three hours drive from Jodhpur. Here, Jawai Dam, the largest barrage in western Rajasthan, creates a massive reservoir that partly submerges low hills and rocky mounds of the Aravali range. Not only is this landscape unlike what you'd expect in Rajasthan, it's downright surreal, like something straight out of a sci-fi apocalyptic film. Yes, 
Thomas König. Du bist es fest. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, pretty place. Like I said, infinitely preferable to Joe. We're staying at Castle Bear Up, the homestead of the erstwhile royal family, that again occupies pride of place overlooking the hamlet. It's a charming old place with a long history and oodles of personality that's exemplified by none other than the current owners, Baljeet Singh and his son Yadavir. Yadavir studied hospitality before turning his attention to raising the stock of his family-run hotel. And that family tree goes a long way back. So you're a hotelier at this point, like you, you've yes, studied? Yes, I've done hotel management and I worked in all these five-star hotels, properties in India. Okay. And then I came back here because my father wanted, needed help. Yeah. So then I came back and I started doing this. So right. I'm based here. Oh, so it's like you went over to all these five stores to learn service. That's the idea. But, um, <laughs> but if, you have, if you have this kind of uh, precious thing with the leopards going on here, how do you make sure that you're running this whole thing so that uh, uh, so that it's sustainable. Like for leopard conservation, my family has started this leopard safaris 20 years ago. Okay. Nobody knew about this. It was our family which actually showcased it to the world, opened it to the world. Yeah. So we started Castle Beira 20 years ago right. when there was very low tourism. It right. was not known. Javai was not known. It was just us who was doing business here, yeah. opening the ho home like a homestay and taking guests but then uh, now it has become a tourist destination yeah. but we, uh, we try to do our best to conserve the leopards we try we have mm. trackers in the areas in the jungle mm. we get uh, like everyday information where the leopards are moving mm. what is the behavior mm. everyday rangers are going to uh, film them with the cameras mm. and uh, that's so you have to work of course very closely with yes, the local community yes, local. And Oh, did I forget to mention? The reason we came here is not just to view the landscape, but rather to hopefully catch a sight of some of the magnificent animals that call it home. And we're off. There was a fair bit of rain last night and we were hoping that the skies would clear up as the day dawned. That was not to be. And that wind in the hair feeling in an open vehicle took a real knock because it started raining. I don't think there's anything quite as silly as seeing men sitting under umbrellas in an open jeep. Simple pleasures, folks. How do drones commit suicide? They fly off into the sunset when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> The rain has finally stopped and we pull out binoculars and wait for this mother cub duo that is apparently hanging around in this very spot. What makes a safari in Javai Hills unique is that it's outside the boundaries of the small designated community reserve. Here if you spot a leopard then you've truly seen it in the wild. Yesterday, we sighting here. Okay. We saw that male is a male and a female. Okay. So, they live here, sir. Okay, they live here. Yes. So, you will be able to see where the leopard is shown. Yes. How many years have you done this? I have done it for 4 years. 4 years? Yes. Where is your village? My village is there in front of the hill, sir. So, this Javai Dam is that, right? Yes, Javai Dam is that, sir. That Javai Dam is that, sir. Yes. Okay. तो ये मतलब जब पानी होता है तो ये पूरा एरिया भर जाता है क्या? पूरा पानी रहता सर यहाँ तक। अच्छा जी? बिल्कुल ये पूरा रास्ता बंद हो जाता है यहाँ से सर। फिर अपन यहीं से जाना पड़ता है उस तरफ होके सर। इसके बैक साइड। तो ये लेपर्ड कहाँ जाते हैं उस वक्त? लेपर्ड सर इसी हिल में रहते हैं बाजू 
तो आप क्या बचपन से देख रहे हैं इनको लेपर्ड को यहाँ पे मेरे गाँव में भी बहुत सारे लेपर्ड है अच्छा और ये पूरे जंगल में भी बहुत सारे लेपर्ड है What a place, क्या सुंदर एरिया में तो कोई अंदाजा ही नहीं था कि ऐसी जगह भी है यहाँ पे कहीं पे अच्छा तो आप मेरे को कह रहे थे that when you get off the car, it's, uh, गाड़ी से उतरोगे तो लेपर्ड भाग जाएगा गाड़ी में रहोगे तो नहीं भागेगा ऐसा क्यों है सर ये एक्चुअली गाड़ी को एनिमल ही समझता है गाड़ी को एनिमल समझता है अच्छा 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 बट मैं आदमी को एनिमल नहीं समझता ये सो वी सॉ लॉट्स ऑफ पीकॉक सिटिंग अराउंड ऑन रॉक्स गोट्स मिलिंग अबाउट एंड अ हेल्थी पॉपुलेशन ऑफ लंगूर्स ऑल प्री फॉर द लेपर्ड्स ऑफ जवाइ इवन दो वी डेंट सी एनी ऑफ द बिग कैट्स इट्स क्वाइट लाइकली दैट द फीलाइन सॉ अस आई वंडर व्हाट दे थिंक द लेपर्ड्स अबाउट अस with our binoculars roaming around the landscape in circles do they know that we are the ones responsible for shrinking their worlds for denying them free range for straightening pretty creeks to grow crops for burning forests to clear land for pastures and to build roads a greek philosopher beyond once wrote that though boys throw stones at frogs in sport the frogs do not die in sport but in earnest